An acquaintance of mine once asked me what I thought of the power ordnance pistols. I think they were kind of playing around, testing me to see what I'd say. Uh, and I told them, I thought the power ordnance pistols were really a well-designed, poorly executed gun. Uh, I think that uh, some of the engineering in the initial ones were really kind of clever and unique. They were the first um, high capacity or full capacity uh, 1911 pattern guns. Uh, and originally you could get them as just a gunsmith kit, basically the frame, which is how this one came to be. So this was a gunsmith kit, a frame that I acquired. Uh, it came with a couple of magazines. And uh, then you could, once you got it in that configuration, you could build it however you wanted to whatever tolerances or specs that you felt were appropriate. And that's that's exactly what this gun is. So basically what it is, it's the power ordinance. It's the high, uh, high capacity or full capacity, I guess. Depends on how you want to turn it. Uh, in this case, there's front strap checkering. I did not do this checkering. A friend of mine did. Uh, back strap in, in this one. For some reason, I, I do appreciate the rough texture of a good checkered back strap and front strap. I, I put a lanyard loop back strap on here. I'm not sure why. And then this is probably Smith and Alexander. Uh, the speed hump is checkered and. Uh, uh, everything else is pretty plain Jane. It's a cart barrel. Uh, probably cylinder and slide, if memory serves me, for the uh, ignition. Really nice, crisp, very short let up. Uh, for some reason, it's Novak sight cuts. For some reason, I went with adjustable sights. I'm not sure why. But overall, it's, I mean, in a lot of ways, it's kind of a plain 1911. It just happens to take. Uh, 14 or 15 round magazine. Uh, one of the things I did do on this gun was uh, flush cut the slide lever on the uh, ejection port side. That's not uncommon for me. Um, I had watched an individual in a shooting match uh, while moving from one position to another. He had let his finger come to rest, index as it were, and the slide lever bump makes a good place to index. It's tactile, you can tell it's there. Uh, but what happened was he had pushed it just slightly out of battery somehow, and uh, it screwed up the way the gun was running. Uh, these are not power ordnance scripts. These are aftermarket. I forgot who made them. There's not a lot of uh, good quality aluminum grips for this gun. Uh, and it's hard to get like a uh, G10 or some other phenolic resin because they're awfully thick. These are aluminum. Uh, and obviously for a gun that's this big, having the thinnest grips possible helps. Uh, I don't know if you can see, this one has a uh, fun little, um, uh, fun little slide uh, uh, recoil guide rod plug. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty standard. Uh, it came out pretty nice, it shoots well. Let's uh, shoot it. I haven't shot it in a long time, so let's shoot it and see how it does. One of the things I like about the power ordinance is it fits in a standard 1911 holster. Uh, used to be getting pouches for the magazines was kind of tricky in this day and age. It's not difficult at all. Uh, there's plenty of mag pouch uh, companies out there. And there's a lot of different uh, sort of looser fit mag pouches that'll provide a mag pouch that will work for these magazines. All right, let's see how it shoots. Fifteen rounds, forty-five. Really gentle recoil impulse. Not bad. Not bad. Right, let's put uh, ten rounds in the head box. See how that does.
Nice. All right, put one low. That's probably me on the trigger. Put one high, probably not waiting for the sight to settle, but the rest are pretty nicely settled on the head box. Uh, it's maybe 18 or 20 yards out. Uh, overall, not bad. If you're uh, going to try and find a power ordinance, maybe that gunsmith kit might be the way to go if you can find one or uh, build your own.